and welcome to our dashboards tutorial. I'm Kathleen and I'm going to take you through your project dashboard where each of the charts and graphs get their data from, how to customize your project dashboard view and how to view your group and portfolio dashboards. So let's look at a project dashboard. You open of course your project by going either to the menu and open or you might have it in your recent option there. You could jump to the new tab and click open or if you had the project open recently it will have a, its own tab up the top. So I'm going to go to my sample project and the dashboard icon on the left we simply click that and that will bring up your project dashboard. Your project dashboard shows you at a summary level where your project is at so it's a nice graphical easy way to see the health of your project your time, your budget, your resource allocation, where each of those items are currently standing. Now these nine graphs can be moved around, so you'll see this progress graph. I might want to just simply click and drag it down, and you'll see the grey box behind shows me where I can drop it uh, to here, so that my health chart is at the top along with time and cost. So you can customise how you want these charts arranged. You can click on the little X to remove them and to re-add them, simply click up here on the top menu bar. So let's look at the health chart. This is a traffic light indicator of the main areas of your project. So you'll see the time, cost, resources, risks, issues and changes, and some summary information as well as the um, red, green or amber status for that area. If I left click on any of these items it will take me directly to the area of the project that this relates to. So I could go to my risks page and update the status of my risks and come back to my dashboard and that would update the status light here. You'll see also when I hover over it it gives me extra information on the percentage of my budget right there under the cost or say my resource allocation. If at any point you're unsure what each of the graphs shows, you can simply click on the question mark or jump to the help and it will open with information on each of these charts and the dashboards, how to access them and what each of the data features are. If we move to the time chart, this chart basically shows where my tasks are in relation to where I planned them to be. So overall, you see on the sample project, I plan to be 100% complete by this date. Currently, there are only 46% of the overall tasks averaged out to be complete. So this means I have slippage of 54%. So if I wanted to reduce the slippage, I'd simply go to my planned uh, task dates and reduce those so that they're not expected to be completed today and that will then reduce my slippage. Now looking at the cost chart, this shows whether you are ahead or behind against your budget. You entered when you created your project, you can change it at any time by going to the info tab up here and making a change. So here if I hover over the actual, you'll see that it sets out for me exactly how that is made up. So it brings across any resource costs, any actual costs that I've entered in my task page and expenses that I've entered against this project and it sets out the amounts for me. If I then hover over the planned, same information set out for me that it's the planned resource costs as well as any planned task costs I might have had and there's the budget amount and it again reminds me that I can jump to the info page to change that information. Let's jump down to the progress chart. This basically shows where you are at versus where you planned to be at. So it averages out your tasks complete versus where you planned them to be as at today. So you'll see the summary tasks here and the blue of course is the planned and when I hover over it it tells me that I'd planned for these summary tasks to be 100% complete by today but on average only 40% are complete. And also again gives me a little tip that if I want to change the percentage complete, simply jump to the task, uh, save and this will then be updated. Looking at the tasks pie chart here, this shows me the number of my tasks and the status they're currently at. So you'll see here I've got 11 tasks in progress, 6 not started and 6 that are complete. Again if I hover over it gives me extra information and tells me how I can change the percentage complete for those tasks to update this graph. The resource graph next on the right 
shows for all resources on this project their allocation percentage. So whether they are 100% allocated, less or more. Now see with all of my resources here, they're all under allocated, so the showing is green. If they were over allocated, they would be yellow or red and showing on the right hand side of the graph. When I hover over these resources, I see their full names. And again, if I hover over the bars, it gives me more detail on that percentage under or over allocated. So to manage these under allocated resources, I could go to my tasks page and assign more tasks to these resources or the workload grid and simply assign them tasks. I like to keep my risks, issues and changes charts along the bottom of my dashboard, but of course you can just click and drag and move these around wherever you like. And these charts show me the percentage of my at risks, issues and changes that are sitting at high, medium or low status. And with all of the charts, I can simply hover over and it will tell me the percentage of risks that I have, for example here, the low impact and likelihood, and how to change that information on my project. Now that we've gone through each of these dashboard charts, let's have a look at the group project dashboard. So when you create a project group, it gets its own little tab, and you'll see I've got two projects in this group. And so it displays information for them, Again, at that summary level, quick and easy and graphical, makes it um, pretty simple to see where you've got issues, where you've got items you need to address, so any slippage, uh, you might have budget issues, perhaps resource under allocation over here uh, that you need to jump straight to on your project and update. Same is true for the portfolio dashboard. So if I go to the All tab and the Dashboard, I can see all of my projects and their health. So this is a great view if you're managing a large number of projects and you want to see at a glance where those projects are at. I can also jump through to the projects from here. I can simply click on the name and I'll be taken to the project. If I want to change the projects that I'm viewing here, I can click on the dashboard settings icon and uh, change the status of the projects that I want to view. So I might not want to see cancelled projects or those projects that aren't started or on hold. I only want to see my open projects. So that will change my portfolio view. And you'll see down the bottom the risks, issues and changes has changed to a heat map with all of my risks, issues and changes charted for me. So that's our project dashboard, our group dashboards and the portfolio dashboard. If you've got any questions or issues or some feedback on our dashboards, please send it through to support at projectmanager.com or by clicking on the support link in the system and writing directly to us in the support team.